Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Corsair's Closed. We have another match for you tonight. One of the last few matches of the evening if you are in the North American time zone. If you are not, then the day is just getting started for our Saturday matches. We have Riot versus Arnold 24x24. A very exciting matchup. The 12th seeded Riot versus the 18th seeded Arnold tonight. We had a little bit of an unfortunate letdown with our match between Kablaze and BTMC about an hour ago, with Kablaze unfortunately not being able to attend the match, ended in a win for BTMC. But we are back now once again. It is going to be your same commentators today. I I am Chillier Pear, joined again by Dio. Hello, hello. Yeah, very much a letdown that we didn't get to see Kablaze versus BTMC, especially in the loser's bracket, you never like to see no-shows where it, it completely determines who moves on in the tournament and who drops out, but that's the way the cookie crumbles for the night. Riot versus Arnold, uh, based on this uh, based on this in-game chat, it's also not looking too hot at the moment, oh, I gotta no. say. I gotta say it's not looking too hot, man, based on the in-game chat. I gotta I gotta hold out hope that they both show up, but man, it does not look good right now for these uh for these early morning matches. Yeah, this is really just unfortunate to see that we have a forfeit nonetheless. I mean, at the very least, this could potentially be a uh, a last minute reschedule, so Regardless of what happens here, we will still see the match. The other one is unfortunately as a, uh, a final result in the favor of BTMC. But uh, I guess uh, Riot Arnold and our uh, lovely referee tonight, Leo FLT, will try and attempt to figure something out before uh, we get into the match. If not, we will get into the match depending on what they decide to do. We'll see if uh, Arnold's internet holds up for us to get into the match at the start here. Yeah, I, I am I definitely am hoping it does. I, I think this matchup is really interesting between the two players. Sort of once again you get this mismatch in terms of the skill sets of the two players, looking at what Riot and Arnold both tend to be good at. I think it's two very different sorts of players, with Riot uh more so fielding the uh raw mechanics in general and Arnold fielding a, the raw speed as a benefit, um, but B, more so the focus on uh, the high density maps, low approach rate reading, and super high BPM double time. Uh, Riot also very, very strong on Hard Rock in general, one of the better scores on Hard Rock 2 in the qualifiers, which is that CS 6.5 control map. So a little bit less clear cut, I think, what the bands or what the, what the picks are in this matchup where the bands are still pretty clear from the outset, I think, for both of these players. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think we mentioned it in the, the previous matchup that, between Kablaze and BTMC, the differing skill sets and uh, just how interesting of a match that can uh, bring us, especially between these two players here. Of course, Riot, uh, the number one player in uh, Mexico. And then Arnold 24x24, the known around the world, the number one player in Peru. He is also the winner of OMF5. I don't believe that Riot has any badges uh, under his belt, to my knowledge, yet. So still, still waiting for that first one on Riot, but maybe he's going to try and make a push for it. And Corsair's closed this year. See how far he can drag Arnold today. Arnold is a force to be reckoned with in most tournaments that we've seen him in. We'll maybe see the continuation. Yeah, I mean, he is, uh, even, even in 1v1s, you know, you, you, a lot of people, I think, think of Arnold as somebody with a more specialized skill set. You know, even I call him out as being very, very good on the sort of high, very, very high BPM DT and the high density hidden maps and nomad maps that are very, very low approach rate. Uh, of course, winning OMF5, I think you tend to be very good at the low approach rate reading and <laughs> reading in general, but uh, he's got a very diverse skill set. He's still got the raw mechanics to back up being very strong on a lot of the more straightforward maps that you see in these map pools. Neither of these players get to two digit global ranking by having poor mechanics. So both of them are going to be very strong 
on a lot of those more straightforward maps, but Arnold definitely specializes in some of the uh, trickier maps in the pool. Hard Rock 1, Nomad 1 are very common bans, I think, for him against Raw Mechanics players, and Hidden 2, Nomad 5 bans for Riot. Nomad 5 being 270 BPM in Nomad, the high BPM burst map getting banned out in Hidden 2. Again, that high approach rate, or low approach rate, excuse me, Hidden map getting banned out by Riot. So definitely consistent with Arnold's overall skill set, the bans for Riot, and the same goes for Arnold banning out those raw mechanics maps. Yeah, I think both sets of bans here definitely make a lot of sense. Uh, Hidden 2, especially for Riot, that's something that he was always going to have to get rid of there. The Nomad 5 maybe a little bit more questionable. I always thought that Riot would maybe be able to hold his own on something like Nomad 5, but I guess when you're going up against Arnold, uh, your plans change a little bit there. First pick for Riot here, going to be the Nomad 3, the Mazarin map to start off. Um, you know, again, I'm going to kind of go back to it. I'm not entirely sure where Riot is coming from on the Nomad 3, more so than the Nomad 5. I think Arnold has very, very much proven himself to be proficient in these, uh, you know, alt snap and flow aim type patterns here. We, you know, we saw it in the previous match, two matches ago now. Uh, with Mouse Easy versus Fleslin, it's not easy at all with these doubled snap patterns in here. So hopefully Riot's a little bit more comfortable than, uh, you know, whatever Arnold is able to put up on this to start off here as his first pick. Yeah, this is definitely a very tricky map as a first pick here for Riot. Um, and like you said, Arnold is somebody who can do very well on these types of maps. Does drop the first couple of sets and misses, though, in the intro. First 150 combo, dropping Arnold's combo during that section. Riot also dropping, though, on a slider break, a miss aim after a couple of the streams. So both players having some trouble right out of the gate with this map, and it's kind of understandable. You already see a lot of these different cut streams and more difficult flow aim, especially with a lot of the wiggles going on in this trickier section of the map. Uh, but Riot definitely having more trouble than Arnold, for sure. Arnold's still holding 300-plus combo now, and Riot just unable to keep up. Yeah, we saw something very similar, uh, you know, earlier on in the night. Mouse Easy just looked very comfortable on this map compared to what Fleslin was able to put up. And a very similar performance right now. It'll be a very close Arnold with a slider break right there. Unfortunately, going to drop the combo. Riot's going to take a very, very slight combo lead, but the accuracy staying exactly the same virtually between the two of them right now. Riot is going to drop quite a bit of accuracy there, and Arnold is going to maintain his lead, but there's a lot of breaks going on here, so the score is going to stay within that 50,000 difference, and it really is anybody's map only halfway through right now. We're coming up into the next drop section where we get into a lot of that Heavy flow aim again on some of these streams. Both players holding combo going into it. But Riot breaks immediately after the start of the section on one of the sliders. Arnold, once again, though, able to hold through the more difficult flow aim sections. It's not for a super long time during this section, but he is able to hold on to the combo longer than Riot. Riot now actually with a combo lead because after that first break, he hasn't broken again, but... 40k, 45k score lead in the favor of Arnold, and only so much map left. There's not a huge combo lead for Riot right now. As the score lead's still going over to his favor. It's going to be close. If he's able to hold on to the combo, it could actually go back over, but it's going to require some really strong play from Riot here. He's looking to actually pull it back. Arnold with more misses, <laughs> oh and now the score is over at the very last second. A thousand <laughs> points in Riot's favor. Not even a thousand points at the end of the map. Wow. What do you say to that riot against all odds right there on his own pick? I know, you know, we kind of made it sound like for that entire map that that was something that Arnold kind of had in the bag. And I mentioned that Arnold is a very, very strong alt player, especially on that snap alt style of map. And it was a very uh, concerning pick, I guess, for Riot. Um, and it kind of maintains that, I guess, even though Riot was able to pull it out with the 1k at the ending, very concerning for the majority of the map there. That was very, very strong in Arnold's favor, but he does pull it out into the ending. No break point for Arnold, but he does immediately go for the DT3 Diddy Kong versus Dogodon. We've seen this in a couple of tournaments before, maybe not this map set of it, but certainly the song. It's a map that time and time again you kind of put down as that gimmick DT style map. Very difficult, requires a lot of focus here, and it's something that Arnold has quite a bit of. Yeah, this is uh, this is the double time map that I think probably was gonna get banned if Nomad 5 wasn't 
banned out by Riot because this is uh, something that Arnold in particular is just going to do very, very well on. 240 BPM, AR8 double time is right up his alley for sure. Especially with the CS5, I believe, on this map. Uh, it's something with this sort of linear patterning. The back and forth reading in this is very, very strong as a skill for Arnold. So it makes a lot of sense to see him pick this. A very, very close first pick for Riot, for sure, out of the gate. Uh, but we are at 1-0 right now after the first pick. Yeah, very strong start. Both players here sitting about the same. Arnold definitely has that accuracy lead right now, which is not something you want to have... Uh, if you are Riot right here, Arnold will certainly run away with this. Continuing to improve his accuracy, looks very comfortable on these dense patterns here. The reading, the overlaps, really not catching either of the players off right here. And there goes Riot with the first break. That very dense square pattern there, and now a 5% accuracy lead for Arnold means that this is uh, most likely going to go over to him a very short map at this a minute and 14 seconds. There's not much of a comeback you can make when Arnold has a 400 combo. Yeah, the square stream there, more so putting the nail in the coffin than anything else, with the accuracy lead that Arnold already has, uh, even pulling off a comeback here would have been very, very unlikely, especially with Arnold holding the combo all the way into the end of the map. It's not quite an FC, I don't think, but it's very, very close, almost 900k on Diddy Kong versus Dogodon for Arnold, and... Yeah, that comeback's not happening with a 6% accuracy lead in Arnold's favor. A much more one-sided first pick for Arnold than for Riot. Um, and that is a... Honestly, on a map like this, I think fairly expected. This is right up Arnold's alley in terms of the skill required to do well on this map. So props to him for the win on this. A pretty solid first pick. Very, very confident from Arnold on his first pick there. Slightly less from Riot, but he was able to pull it out in the end. He definitely knew what he was doing towards the ending of that Nomad 3 there when he was able to hold the combo through the most difficult section of the map to uh, clinch his first point out there. But Arnold was able to respond with a more than confident first pick along there. Riot's going to go for DT1. We mentioned he's very good at those base mechanics types maps. Arnold banning out the Hard Rock 1 and the Nomad 1, and Riot is going to go with what he has left, the DT1 here. We've seen it once tonight, and we will see it again. It's that consistent, fast, big aim, a lot of triples thrown in as well. A couple bigger jump sections on here to make the big difference in terms of difficulty, but a very consistent aim map for both of these players here. Riot is going to have to really strut his stuff against Arnold on this one. I mean, it's Caffeine Fighter. If you're not really familiar with how this map plays, it's just about the same as uh, any other fairly long, consistent farm aim map. There's lots of jumps all over the place, lots of triples, not really any long streams anywhere, and it's super, super comfortable to aim, which is why the star rating is so high on this compared to a lot of the other maps in the pool. I think it's something because of how comfortable it plays that we're gonna see a lot in this round of play. And I, I do like the pick from Riot also picking into this. No mod one, hard rock one, banned out by Arnold, definitely expected. And of course he's gonna be a bit more comfortable on the double time aim map than on the no mod one or hard rock one, but uh, still something that I think Riot is gonna be able to do very well on. He is definitely favored on this sort of pick overall. Both players are looking pretty comfortable out of the gate. A little bit of an accuracy drop for both of them at the start of the map, very, very slightly in the favor of Arnold. But Riot actually over-tapping, it looks like misreading in the slow section and giving early combo lead over to Arnold going into the first KI. Yeah, very, very good hold from Arnold through that big jump section at the start there. There is one more towards the middle of the map and then another one at the ending right here. So Ryan, Riot's got his uh, work cut out for him right now. He's holding the accuracy next to Arnold, but... As long as Arnold's able to hold this combo, we've seen similar things happen on those basic aim maps, and it happens all too often. We mentioned on stuff like Nomad 1, you just find that one unfortunate miss, and there's really nothing you can do. You are completely at the mercy of the opposing player and what they're able to put up for the rest of the map. And unfortunately, when you're against someone like Arnold on a DT aim map, that just, you know sliver of hope starts to get a little bit smaller on some of these sections here. So... It is really down to whether or not Arnold finds a miss here. Riot has built up enough combo to make something happen here, but with a 140,000 score difference right now and climbing, he's really got his work cut out for him. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why Arnold leaves up DT1 over Nomad 1 or Hard Rock 1, but he does actually find a miss now going into the second Ki. Uh, the accuracy in Arnold's favor by about a percent and a half is going to make it difficult for Riot to stage this comeback, but he's got the combo that he needs to make it happen. About 400, over 400 combo in the lead. Never mind. He finds a miss. It looks like either a technical difficulty or something else similar happening to him there. And just sort of giving up afterwards with so much accuracy dropped, so much score dropped, and not really a chance at a comeback happening in the second half of the map. Arnold is going to be able to take the break point on Caffeine Fighter Riot, just unable to make it happen on DT1 on the aim map. And like you mentioned, Chillier, it's a lot of people call it a coin flip, and I think that accurately describes it for some players. The misread and overtap at the beginning of the map really dooming Riot there. Yeah, you know, again into the ending when you're against, you know, a player like Arnold, and especially on a map like this, the, the consistency that you have to hold through this is at a very high level. And, you know, even though Caffeine Fighter is not regarded as the most difficult DT1 ever, it is by no means an easy map. And uh, both of these players have definitely proven themselves very, very comfortable on this 500k and 675k, respectively. But, uh, you know, in the end, Arnold just able to hold that combo through the beginning of accuracy, definitely a little bit stronger and Riot with uh, quite possibly a technical difficulty a little bit of the way through the map. Really just not an amazing time for Riot on his second pick of the match here. So he does have a break point uh, under Arnold's belt. Now he's going to have to start to work in order to get that back. But as of now, the match is going to remain close. We're going to go back to Arnold's next pick. We'll see if Riot's able to respond. <laughs> So, Nomad 6 immediately from Arnold. Not a surprise there. Got the Nomad 6 gimmick map from the Nomad here. Um, you know, really not too much to say. We talked a lot about how Arnold was really strong at those dense hidden maps. A lot of that gimmick favored uh, stuff. And uh, he's really going to show it on the Nomad 6 here. Or at least going to try to for the first time in this match. The hidden 2 was banned out. So there's not too much that's going to be left in that uh, zone for the remainder here. But... We'll at least get to see it to start off here. Arnold's going to try and consolidate that breakpoint as soon as he can. Yeah, you want to talk about note density. This one is uh, AR7 in Nomad and uh, actually has pattern complexity <laughs> to it as well. It's not as if this is just, you know, high spacing and not uh, not any difficult patterns to it at all. You get into the key eyes and you get a lot of these different streamy bursty parts of this map. At AR7 CS5, it becomes very, very difficult to read everything properly on something like this, where you're not just dealing with constant one, two single taps, you're dealing with lots of different rhythm complexity in this, and it makes it really, really tough on a lot of players' low approach rate reading. Uh, AR7, not something that I think a lot of people practice specifically for tournaments, so people who really do play low approach rate in solo play benefit a lot from something like this being in the pool. Arnold, definitely one of those people. Definitely, and we can already see at the beginning here, Riot finding quite a few misses. Arnold looking comfortable for the aim at the start here. An absolutely stunning song as well. We don't see a lot of Ahisa in uh, tournament map pools, given that the songs don't normally fit too many categories. But if uh, anyone's ever played the uh, Pro Box map, uh, Alexithmia, that really long one, this is um, kind of what that song is based off of, and uh, he's just done an absolutely fantastic job with it. So putting it to work on the Nomad 6 here, putting it down on that AR7, really focusing on uh, the, the aim control on this one. Not so much the reading, there isn't too much overlap on this, but when you throw it down to AR7, even notes that are as spaced out as this become very awkward. They feel very dense and very slow, and it's hard to keep your aim in control for this. And Arnold is a prime example of what, you know, just happens when you when you practice this so much and you're just very comfortable at this level. Ryan's starting to recover a little bit, but not nearly as well as he needs to be against Arnold, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's 4.5% accuracy in the lead for Arnold right now on this map. The comfort level is just way, way higher for Arnold, I think, very clearly on this map. Riot with another break here about a third of the way through going into the second PI. Arnold does finally drop the combo. He has actually dropped on a couple of streams now, and the accuracy lead 
far lower than it used to be, but the combo just isn't there for Riot to take advantage, so it's not going to do a lot in terms of the score lead right now. Arnold's still up around 80k, about 75k up right now at the moment, and still climbing with that accuracy lead. The combo lead just not big enough to offset any of that difference, so... Riot definitely in a tough spot, can hold on to this combo lead and try to make a comeback happen on this one. Does need to take back the breakpoint that was lost on double time one just now. So hopefully he is able to make something happen on this pick, but Arnold definitely looking comfortable with the accuracy advantage and not really too much of a combo lead for either player at the moment. Yeah, you know, we mentioned that... Uh... Arnold was definitely a lot more comfortable at the beginning of this map, and his accuracy really showed it, but a couple of breaks from Arnold, and this map has gotten a little bit closer all of a sudden. Another break from Arnold a couple of seconds ago puts Riot ahead on the combo a decent bit here. The accuracy is definitely close enough to start clawing back some of that score, but Riot definitely has to make a complete switch from what we saw at the beginning of the map here, and both players are going to find misses at the same time, which is unfortunately going to favor Arnold more than it does Riot, despite how close the map has been thus far. It's still a 50,000 score difference, and when the combos are exactly matched up, and Arnold just has that very slight accuracy lead here, it's going to kind of keep Riot in the uh, the passenger seat here. Arnold going to go with it. Yeah, all things said and done, it's actually, I think, a far closer map than a lot of people would have expected, certainly than I expected on something like this from Riot. He's putting up, honestly, a pretty decent score on this map, looking to nearly match Arnold's. But as you said, 50k score down, and the combo lead just not high enough for Riot, now non-existent for Riot, and in the favor of Arnold with that extra miss. And even when he did have the combo lead, the accuracy disadvantage, doing work, keeping the score on the side of Arnold. So uh, even with how close this map is, going through the map, comparing everything, it was always in one way or another favored towards Arnold, and he's going to end up with the win because of that. Yeah, it looks like that early consistency and, and comfortable play from Arnold at the beginning really paying off and. Um, I think I think we mentioned it uh, much earlier in uh, the Mouse Easy Flesland match. And I know I keep going back to that because we didn't have the match before this, and it's the only one we've seen this weekend. But um, we saw quite a few maps where it was either alternating back and forth between the players on whoever held it at the beginning. They had a little bit more consistency. They were a little bit more comfortable from the get-go. And it really makes a difference into the ending of the map, despite how the rest of it goes. Unless there's a complete turnaround, it's very hard to make that switch after you've started in the map. So we've only seen, you know, like Arnold um, continuing on. I guess the big, you know, difference for that was probably Riot on uh, the Nomad 3 pick that he had where he made a complete switch from the beginning of the map, held the combo at the hardest part of the map, and uh, really pulled through for himself with that 1k score difference into the ending there. But it's going to have Hard Rock 3 as his next pick. Uh, all the basic aim and consistency might be gone, but the Hard Rock 3 is certainly alive for Riot, a very strong Hard Rock player. He's going to have to start to get himself on the board a little bit more now. We mentioned Arnold consolidating that break point with that last pick on the Nomad 6. Was successful in it. It is 1-3. to three. It is still a best of 11. There's plenty of picks left to go. Arnold would still have to go through three more wins in order to close this out, and Riot is certainly not down and out of this yet, despite the break point. Yeah, this one I think is a very comfortable map for a lot of hard rock players with a lot of light finger control in the first half along with a lot of the low aim, a lot of bursts and streams in the first half. And you get into the KI time in the second half of the map and the flow aim just starts to go just that bit harder along with the mixing in of more and more doubles in the KI time and near the end of the map. So. Players who are really comfortable on Hard Rock, who are able to do well on those more sorts of niche skills for Hard Rock, are going to be very, very comfortable with this. It's not quite as tricky as something like Hard Rock 2, especially with the circle size only being CS 5.85 after Hard Rock. It's not going to be you know, completely restricted to your Hard Rock mains on this map, but it is something that definitely favors someone like Riot who plays the Hard Rock a lot more than Arnold. Absolutely. You know, we saw it favor Fleslin earlier with a very strong performance 
on this map for the majority of the, uh, the comboing here. And uh, kind of seeing something similar from Arnold and Riot here. Arnold with a very early break there. But Riot is actually going to trade it up despite what we saw in the earlier match. So it's going to stay relatively close with that accuracy lead. You know, it's been a very prominent factor in a lot of maps thus far. The accuracy lead really meaning quite a bit, despite how much Arnold is missing right now, which is actually going to make a bigger difference. Yeah, not only in the combo lead, but in the accuracy lead as well. Those misses do still affect the act, and Arnold down below 90% at the moment, just finally cresting back above it right now, uh, does mean a lot for this score lead. Riot nearly double Arnold's score at the moment. They are still both down below 200k at the moment as well, but definitely looking fairly good for Riot. The consistent combo here before the halfway point, building up pretty steadily for him and not really looking too uncomfortable after some adjustments at the start of the map. Does find a slider break though, going into the Ki time. Arnold now with a big combo lead is still down about 3% in accuracy, but that's far less than he was down earlier on in the map. And Riot with these continued breaks is making room for Arnold to have a comeback, but not meant to be. Arnold does find a miss as well at the end of that Ki time, just in time to keep the score on Riot's side. Just barely there. Yeah, Riot was finding quite a few chain misses, but it wasn't just a simple miss as well. It was a lot of, you know, two or three in a row on these stream sections here. And luckily, Arnold is starting to find a couple of his own despite the combos from earlier. So Riot will hold it into the finish here. And a little bit scary there for a couple of seconds. And uh, into the finish here, Riot's going to hold it strong against Arnold with a very convincing win. On the Hard Rock 3, just more consistent on the map overall, a little bit more comfortable. The misses for Arnold really doing the damage for him there. The combos are relatively the same. Arnold actually taking the lead in the combo, but uh, the miscount of Arnold basically doubling that of Riot's really making the difference that you uh, kind of don't want to see there between these two players here. Could have been a very, very close map, but... Arnold just not quite as comfortable on those streams and the linear parts of the streams. Nonetheless, once he threw in that spacing, started to be a little bit troublesome. So Riot is going to get himself another point on the board. Does have that break point on the side of Arnold. He's going to maybe try and make a push for that on Arnold's pick right now. He's going to keep the match dead even for as long as he can here. Going to go back and forth between these two picks. It's going to be the no mod four. It's going to be get happy. We saw this in, uh, in I believe, three-digit World Cup two years ago. It was in the hidden map pool. Um... So a little bit of a different placement here in the no mod this year, serving a different purpose. But a strong pick for Arnold again. He's looked really good on the gimmick today. The no mod sticks went very well for him. Um, the DT3 and uh, Get Happy has a very similar aim style. It's a lot of aim control. Um, you don't want to throw your cursor around quite as much as those more mechanic oriented picks here, but requires a lot of, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to use the word focus a lot of the time this match because it really does. Yeah, this really is a sort of a very tricky map that requires so much control over not only the flow aim due to how often the overall flow aim changes in this map, but also the finger control. There's quite a lot of areas with sort of unconventional note patterning and makes it very difficult to keep your tapping in line with what's actually happening in the map you already see so many different changes in spacing right off the bat a lot of those catching riot off he is down about four percent in accuracy at the start of the map but we're still right in the intro section arnold holding on to the full combo it's only about 50 combo down for riot at the moment definitely nothing to fret about for him uh, a couple of adjustments at the start of the map and he should be fairly good to go arnold however needing no adjustments whatsoever 99 percent accuracy still holding on to the full combo into the square stream into the wide angle stream afterwards and still holding on for Arnold where Riot faltered. So into the first key eye time we go with Arnold having the score lead, the combo lead and the act lead. Yeah, very consistent from Arnold, very comfortable. Uh, flow aim maintaining on a lot of these patterns here. You see Riot maybe starting to result, uh, resort to, uh, sorry, rather Riot resulting to resorting to the flow aim on these picks. Arnold's still very comfortable. He flows where he needs to. He puts the snap on his cursor wherever he needs to. He knows the map inside and out, and he's comfortable with the patterns. Hits the 1-6 there into the wide wiggle there. And even in these dense patterns, still holding. He's got more than double the combo of Riot. 
and that's what is going to keep him up here. I saw Riot was single tapping a little bit earlier. You can kind of see it still right now. He single taps these sections right here. Very impressive that he actually holds combo through that. Not a slow map with single tap, 150 BPM base, and that's meant to be ulted. Yeah, and we do see a break finally come through for Arnold. Some of these triangle streams into the super high spacing streams finally catching him off. But Riot, unfortunately, no combo to take advantage of those misses, does miss at the same point. And that is going to mean advantage to Arnold by uh, more than double score. And uh, yeah, almost 730,000 score for Arnold on that one. A very, very strong overall score for him. Nicely done uh, on that pick. And a lot of these picks for Arnold have been fairly one-sided in comparison to the picks that we've seen from Riot, a lot of those have been very, very close overall. So Arnold with honestly very convincing picks so far when he has been picking these maps. No shot of a breakpoint so far to be given over, but honestly a little expected with the early picks here. Arnold's so, so strong on those particular skills that you always see him shine on. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna go back to the Hard Rock 2. It's gonna be Knight Rider for Riot. He's gonna stick with the Hard Rock. It was pretty comfortable on the Hard Rock 3 there. And uh, I guess he's going to push that down to the RLC map on Hard Rock 2 here, trying to make up for the fact that Utopia is no longer available to him. He's gonna try and use this as much as possible. He's been pretty good so far with his own picks. He had that one slip up on DT1, which was very unfortunate. But other than that, Riot really hasn't let anything slip away, which is something that I think he is uh, going to be happy about going into what can be quite, uh, I guess, considered the second half quote of this match. Uh, now that it is two to four, potentially three to four here. Uh, we are one point away on Arnold's side from forcing a match point and three away, potentially two, on Riot's side here. Of course, best of 11. Chances of seeing a tiebreaker here could be pretty likely, but Riot's going to have to start maybe looking towards taking a break point here. He does, again, I mentioned, even though he has been playing well and performing well after that, Arnold was able to consolidate that earlier. I'm really happy to see this map, actually. I, I like, uh, A, I like uh, Usa songs in general, always mm -hmm. uh, pretty good. And B, this is a really interesting map to see get played. There's a lot of really standard aim patterns in this, but there's a lot of cut streams. There's a lot of overlapping aim patterns as well that really favor players who are very, very strong on the hard rock in general. And the mechanics definitely still very difficult as a requirement to play this map. Almost seven stars on CS 6.5 hard rock. Very, very difficult for many players as sort of a gatekeep to entry. Pretty good accuracy for both players so far. Both still holding on to the full combo, right around 98% for both players. So either player's map at this point with finally a slider break actually coming out for Riot. Some of those miss aims on the more conventional aim patterns in the map right before the halfway point. And now Arnold in control of the map once again in that driver's seat with combo advantage, with accuracy advantage, and with the score lead as well, already almost 100k in his favor and climbing. Does not look good for Riot at the moment on Hard Rock 2. Yeah, very solid performance from Arnold right now, and Riot is unfortunately going to have that missing. We saw something similar on the DT1. He just finds that unfortunate break. Arnold is going to eventually find one as well, but the score damage that happens from that big uh, you know, combo lead there, and Riot's going to find another break to uh, trade up the one we saw from Arnold earlier, so it's combo advantage in his favor again. What looks to be another break point over 98% accuracy to the 97.6 on Riot, and there's really nothing he can do about it. The map is coming to a close. There's not enough note density here. Finding another break into the ending where Arnold's going to hold the combo just a little bit more consistently here. And this is going to end in another break point for Arnold, not where we wanted to see it to. Arnold's going to take a break point into the match point against Riot, and he has his own pick to potentially close it out on as well. Already 5-2 to two for Arnold after that win. Just looking very comfortable on a lot of these maps in comparison. 
you know, talked about at the end of the last map how Arnold's picks have all been fairly one-sided. A lot of Riot's picks have been relatively close, and that gives room for these breakpoints to come through for Arnold. Two already on Double Time 1 and Hard Rock 2, looking to close it out here with the next pick for Arnold. However, a lot of the maps that I think would be completely Arnold favored are pretty much gone at this point. There's no low approach rate left. There's only one double time left, but it's AR 10.3 high BPM finger control, which is not exactly what you think of when you think Arnold 24x24. I think Hidden 3 is probably the best bet for him in this map pool. 128 BPM control in Hidden, the 89's momentum. Yeah, very strong Hidden player. We mentioned again, Arnold just really, really takes a big lead in the hidden department here. We saw Riot banning out the reading hidden earlier with hidden two. And uh, Arnold's looked really good on the No Mod six today. He looked really good on the No Mod four and the DT three. He's really been sticking to more of this gimmick, more aim control style of uh, picking today. And it's worked for him very well, along with the two break points he's taken. He's won every single one of his picks. And uh, even though Riot was able to pull out two of his own there, they were rather close as well. So, you know, as much as we don't want to mention it, I definitely think Arnold has had a pretty good hold on this match for the entirety of the thing. But Riot is certainly not out of this yet. We've seen some impressive things, and I mentioned at the match earlier, do not count any of these players at this stage of the tournament in the quarterfinals out just because they are down. We've seen bigger comebacks happen before, and we already see it. Riot with an early combo lead, both players breaking. We'll see what happens between the two. Arnold is actually going to be the one single tapping this time, and Riot's going to be full ulting. Yeah, especially as we get later on into a map pool, a lot of the more comfortable picks for certain players start to go away, and you begin to have to dip into some of these picks where you may not be completely confident in your ability to play the map competently. Riot, however, does find a slider break at about the third way through point of the map. Arnold still holding on to what is close to a full combo. We did find a couple of breaks right at the start of this one. Combo lead, about 300 in Arnold's favor right now. Pretty much the same accuracy for both players, but so easy to slider break on something like this where you're mixing together the slider aim and low BPM aim control skill sets into one map. Arnold, though, looking pretty good here in this second key eye time. No breaks so far. If he can hold through this, it's pretty much guaranteed as well. He just needs to reach that two-thirds, three-quarters of the way point of the map, and he's pretty well sealed it up. He's able to hit the triangle jumps, able to hit the wide angle jumps on those sliders, and continues into the slow part. That's probably going to be it. Still holding on to close to the FC for Arnold. Arnold looking comfortable here. Riot's got the combo to try and make something happen here, but he's got to see the break from Arnold. And unfortunately, it's really not coming when he needs it to. We saw earlier Fleslin pulling out the full combo on this map in order to take the win on it. And Arnold's going to pull up what is uh, virtually, oh, maybe not. He does find a break towards the ending. But uh, unfortunately, it might be all too late for Riot to make a comeback here. He's got some combo left here, but he's got to go all the way through 130,000 square difference in the note density. It's just not quite enough. Unfortunately, he's going to bring it to sub 100K in the ending, but that is going to do it. Arnold with the two break points on Riot going to be taking the win today despite Riot's S rank on this final map here. Really trying to put the work in. Unfortunate sliders taking their toll and doing the damage. And Arnold is going to be taking the win on this quarterfinals match here. Six to two. Congratulations. We'll be seeing a little bit more of Arnold for the rest of the tournament. Condolences to Riot. Will be sent packing today like many others will be for the remainder of the weekend. Of course, we'll have more matches coming for the rest of today and Sunday. But again, congratulations to Arnold for the win this evening. Yeah, Arnold going to be advancing into the second round of Loser's Bracket, which is still this weekend. His next match on, I believe, Sunday is going to be against the winner of Taquito versus Kriller. Uh, another Ooh. very, very uh, <laughs> contested matchup, I think, there with uh, 
Yeah, no no bad players at all in this tournament. Anybody that you face in the second round of loser's bracket is a scary opponent right now. Uh, Arnold definitely going to be wanting some good luck in that matchup because both of those players are very scary to go up against in a 1v1. We do have a couple matches coming up later today, and by a couple, I mean four. We have five UTC, we have Dragbit 3 versus Boshy Man. Any late night Americans or morning, early afternoon Asians and Europeans going to be able to tune into that one. Takeda versus Kriller, the winner of that one going up against Arnold. That happens at 17 UTC today. 18 UTC is Bartek versus FD Sky. And at 21 UTC, it's Kingling versus Hammy. So tune into those matches later today, and we'll see you then. Thank you all for watching. Congratulations to Arnold again for this win. Commiserations to Riot, and we thank him for playing in the tournament. My name is Dio. I've been joined by Chili Repair on the desk. I'll see you all next time.